Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I'm so glad that you joined us here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. In case you're wondering about my voice, well, you also might have noticed I haven't been here for about a month. That's because I'm still hearing from vocal cord surgery, which left me completely unable to talk to get a sound out. So, for those of you who know, we start every week with a happy share, and that's something that leaves you feeling good, happy, calm, gives you peace of mind. My happy share this week is that there's a sound coming out when I open my mouth, and that thanks to this lovely mic that's right close by, you can hear me. And if you really focus and pay attention, you can understand me too. But I've kind of skipped ahead. You see, you might be wondering, what in the world is a metaphysical ministry? Well, unless you're living on some mountaintop, often who knows where, you know or have heard of the whole concept of quantum physics and how we create our reality and how whatever we observe impacts whatever it is that we're observing. Well, that's quantum physics, and that's what all the scientists are doing. Metaphysics is the philosophical explanation, interpretation of what goes on in quantum physics. Now, the reason we start every week with a happy share is because people somewhere along the line got into the habit of unhappiness, of ho-hum, of being bored, of getting by, of saying, this is life as good as it gets. Huh. But life doesn't have to be that way. It was meant to be happy. Your default way of being used to be happiness. So by creating your habit of sharing your happy shares every day, you create the habit of happiness. Do you know it takes more energy to move yourself to a state of being happy than it does to feel blah? Well, what's that about? Create the habit of happiness. You'll raise your energy level. you raise your frequency. Everything you want is at that higher level. Go for it because then you'll feel happy automatically. It will become your default way of being. Now, since I'm not ready to sing yet, what I wanted to talk with you about today is prayer and how prayer impacts us and the planet and the whole world. See, back in 1994, Dr. Larry Dosey, MD, put out his first book about the power of words and specifically about the power of prayer. And I also discovered in the last few months that Napoleon Hill, best known for his book Think and Grow Rich, we well, wrote a number of books, and my favorite, actually the one most powerful for me, is his book The Law of Success, where he states 15 very specific laws that lead a person to success. And by practicing them, you have success, not just in your business life, but in all areas of your life. His 15th law is about using the golden rule, and part of that law is the power of prayer, the power of gratitude, because prayer, prayer is not what most people use, a supplication of, please God, let me pass this test, or please God, heal this illness, or please God, let me get this job that I really want. That's not prayer. That's begging. That's not going to get you what you want. Prayer, real prayer, as defined by Napoleon Hill over a hundred years ago, as defined and practiced by Dr. Larry Dossi and so many other people in the medical profession and supporting people who need something to change in their life is gratitude. So a prayer is about expressing thanks. It's Oh, I'm so grateful for the outcome that's in the highest and best interest of all concerned. Or what Larry Dosey was saying with his patients before he'd go in for rounds. He would ask that the outcome be in the highest and best interest of each of his individual patients. Prayer as been experimented with, yes, scientifically, all through these years, reveals, shows that people really are connected 
that a person in the US and a person in Australia and a person in Europe all say in a prayer at the same time for somebody who they don't even know personally. By saying the prayer of gratitude for highest and best good for the person, something similar, it works. That people's energies actually mesh together, that a particle will change simultaneously in the United States in the same moment it does in Australia and in Europe and where's the other place I said in the US because we're all connected if you want to investigate that further it's a topic called entanglement but what really matters is when you say the prayer of gratitude it has a positive impact depending on how you're saying the prayer it can cause a bacteria causing the disease to no longer cause the disease to no longer grow to no longer expand and if you have some malevolent purpose in mind you can do the opposite and cause somebody to be sick but that wouldn't be a prayer that we're certainly caring about or teaching about or wanting you to share because bottom line is what goes around comes around whatever you put out guarantee you will get it back now you can see it most clearly and maybe it's easier to understand in the case of identical twins where one twin will suffer some kind of physical malady and the other twin who may be hundreds or even thousands of miles away feels it in the same moment that's because we are connected it's because we really are one spirit it's, think of it this way, think of the ocean and think of each wave in the ocean as an individual and they appear to be different waves, different individual unique waves. They'll be different sizes and they'll splash ashore differently, yes? But the fact is, it's all one ocean. They're all connected as a body of water, just expressing for the moment by the pull of the gravitation from the moon that particular pattern of a wave well all people are connected also and we're expressed individually but when you learn how to turn off your left brain which does all this processing and thinking and making you see the world in a thinking manner when you turn that off and you learn how to live from your right brain. That's where your spiritual aspect is. That's where you know. That's where you feel. That's where you experience the connection and the fact that we are all one energy, that we are all connected as one. So when you go out and you want to say a prayer for yourself or for somebody else, remember what you're putting out is for the highest and best interest for all concerned and in fact, as the energy goes on and on and on, everybody ultimately is affected by the prayer that you express, including you. So always pay attention to what you're thinking or saying or asking for. Now, if you're on the ministry site and you look up there, you'll see a page titled Holding a Space for." Holding a space for is very similar to saying a prayer for somebody. When somebody has something they want to make manifest in their life, you just, you can fill it in down there or magically appear up there. Maybe you want a new space to live. Maybe you're looking for a course that you don't know exists and you'd like help having it come to you so you can find it, so you can take it, so you can study it. Maybe you want a new car. Maybe you want to take a vacation someplace, don't know where to go or how to make it happen, whatever it is. When you want it to happen and you put the request out to the universe, by other people holding that same space, by other people visualizing, even though they don't know what you look like, but visualizing from the heart, because we're all connected and we're all heart to heart connected, it comes to you faster. Maybe it's because it's a bigger thought form going out there for the universe to recognize. I'm not sure why, 
But if there's something you want in your life, you let us know what you want us to hold the space for, for you. Come back at least once a week. Read every name and what they want you to hold the space for. Universe knows who you are. Universe knows who they are. You don't have to. Just read the name and what it is they requested. We'll do the same for you. And tell your family and friends to come here too. Because the more people participating, the faster everything happens. Just like people meditating, the more meditators, the more people praying, the bigger the energy going out there to make it real. Thanks so much again for coming by. If you go ahead and click like, I'd sure appreciate getting the word out. Because metaphysics is all about the spiritual aspect of life, which is completely different from religion. And maybe somebody you know is looking to better understand their spirituality without being involved in religious thought. If you haven't done so already, go in over there and get your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. Again, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. Go out this week, and when you ask for something, and when you state a prayer, remember to do it with gratitude. Blessings.